Hey guys, so today I'm going to be talking to you about my top favorite makeup brushes, which has been requested for quite some time now, and I'm finally getting around to it. And if you can't tell, I am super excited because makeup brushes has like newly become my obsession. I always catch myself on websites looking at new makeup brushes, what's hot, what's not, what you should have, what you shouldn't have. I'm just always on the internet searching for makeup brush for makeup brushes. Makeup brushes, Lauren? Mm. Makeup brushes. We're just gonna jump right into this video because I don't want it to be too long and you guys know I can just talk and I'm talking now so <laughs> let's get into it. Just before warned I didn't wash any of these brushes prior to filming because I legit use them daily. The first one I want to talk to you guys about is from the Giuseppe line. I'm not sure if you heard about this line about people comparing it to Sigma brushes, but they're basically Sigma dupes. I don't want to get too much into it in this video since it's, you know, mainly about brushes that I use and I don't want to take up too much of your time. But if you do want like a full review of Giuseppe versus Sigma, just leave a comment down below and I'll be sure to get to that. This is the round top kabuki from the Giuseppe line, which is pretty much identical, if not identical to the Sigma, what is it, F82. Yes, I believe that's exactly what it's called. I have been loving this to buff out my foundation. Kind of retired the Beauty Blender from time to time, and I have been using this. Love the way it buffs out my foundation. Gives me like a really nice airbrush finish. You can really get like around your eyebrows, right underneath your eyebrows. It is just a flawless the way it buffs everything in. I really, really, really do love this brush. It holds a very special place in my heart. When it's dirty, I wanna cry because I just love it. I love it, love it, love it. Next one is a Real Techniques powder brush. I can't say enough good things about this brush. It's super, super soft, which I do love. Real Techniques has some really bomb diggity.com type of brushes, like for real, for real. It just effortlessly blends all your makeup together, your contour, your blush, your highlight, all of it is just blended to perfection. So I've actually been thinking about getting a backup of this brush because I use it so much, literally every single freaking day. This brush is used on my face. It's not a big deal if I get the barrel wet because I know that the barrel like ends all the way down here, which is, I feel like the shape and the build of this brush is just freaking genius. It's just one of those brushes everyone should have in their collection for sure. Um, so go out and buy it, I'm, I'm just saying. The next one I want to talk to you guys about is my Sigma Duo Fiber F50 brush, which I use for my blush and my blush only. Absolutely in love with this brush. Like, it holds a very special part in my heart as well. It blends out my blush effortlessly. I don't even reach for blush brushes anymore. I love how fluffy it is. You don't get too much product, but you get just the right amount of product for your cheeks. It doesn't make me look too dragalicious, too caked on. It's one of the most perfect brushes for your blush. I have about two of these because I just use it so much and sometimes I'll layer all my blushes. So this is a must have definitely in my book. Next up is the Sigma Small Duo Fiber F55 brush, which is perfection when it comes to blending out that cream contour, which obviously I did not do because this brush is still clean. Gets right up in there and right up in the hollow of those cheeks and blends it out to flawlessness, number one. And number two, it's also perfect when you use it with the L'Oreal liquid powder foundation which I despise when I first got it first I can't talk <laughs> when I first got it but ever since I discovered this brush I love that foundation it is just mwah. especially on those days when you want to effortlessly makeup look that is the foundation I get to but you know we veer it off path it was one of those brushes I went on the limb for getting and I am so happy that I did get it because I really cannot live without this next up is my most recent purchase of brushes and it's the Sedona Lace FB01 brush and it is a fan brush. I am telling you my highlight has been on point and I get so many more compliments for my highlight now that I'm using this brush. It is just perfect to chisel out those cheekbones, go down the bridge of the nose, the forehead, the chin. I don't know what I've been doing without it all my life. This brush has been used every single day since I bought it and when I bought it like what three weeks ago. The only thing I do not like about this brush is I don't know if anybody else is having problems with this if they have the same exact brush. It does tend to shed um, and like I said it's a new brush so it's not like I've had it for that long. I don't know if it's just a faulty brush. Maybe I need to get another one but if you have this brush please leave a comment down below letting me know if you have problems with it shedding because this thing sheds like crazy but I absolutely 
love it. So my last two brushes are from Real Techniques. The first one being a contour brush, which I absolutely love to blend out that contour. I use it with my bronzer, my CoverGirl Ebony bronzer to be exact, and it really gets right up in the hollows of the cheeks perfectly, and it blends it out flawlessly. I'm the type of person that really likes a very deep, harsh contour, but with this, you can't even tell because it just blends it out so perfect. Love, love, love this brush. The last one is the Essential Foundation Brush. It's a foundation brush, but I use it to blend out the concealer around my eyebrows. It really gets all up in there, and let me tell you, it blends out that concealer so fabulous that you can't even tell that I put concealer around my brows. I have been in love with this brush I can't live without it it must be in my reach or my brows are just like Pleh. and they look like Pleh. and nobody want to walk around looking like Pleh with Pleh eyebrows do you understand what I'm saying Moving on to eye brushes. The first two are just concealer brushes. The, this one is the Sigma Concealer F70 brush. And then this is the Sedona Lace 954 brush. They're pretty much the same exact brush. They're concealer brushes. They're meant for concealer. I use these for my eyebrows. I have one for my darker concealer for above my eyebrows. And then this one is for my lighter concealer underneath my eyebrows, which is acting as a highlight. These brushes are an absolute must have. If I don't have these brushes on deck, my eyebrows are not getting done. They really do get right next to that eyebrow and just like glides. I just love how nicely they glide and shape and form your eyebrows. The MAC 217 brush, let me, let me just say, I use this brush so many times that I have about eight of them in my collection because I literally use maybe two, three brushes at a time to do my makeup routine. These brushes are so essential, it's not even funny. Sedona Lace has one that is similar, it's the EB09 brush. I know Sigma has one and I don't know off the top of my head what number it is because I don't own that one, surprisingly. Um, but these brushes are just so necessary. It just gets right up in there so easily. And I barely have a crease. Um, I have more of like a crease bone. I don't necessarily have like a crease crease. And it really defines that lid so it looks like there's something there and it really isn't. If you don't have them in your collection, you are seriously missing out. Next up is the Sedona Lace EB13. And I know you guys know I use this pretty much every time I film a tutorial. I have so much lid space that I need a brush that's going to put all the color um, or transition the color all over the lid without having to too too much touchdowns into the palette it is just perfection it distributes the color with ease I, I can't even I don't even know what I'm trying to say it's just the most perfect brush ever it's not too fluffy it's not too tough it's like right in the middle and it fits so perfectly right in that area I need to distribute to I think this might be my most used brush because I literally have to use it to blend out everything it's just mm, love it Mwah. love you baby love you this is my Makeup Geek Chisel Shader Brush. Okay, a pencil brush smokes out that lower lash line, you know, pretty great. But if you really want an extra smoky lower lash line, this is the brush I'm gonna have to recommend to you. It really, really defines that lower lash line, something that I cannot live without. I love me a smoky lower lash line, so this is like the icing on the cake, slash sprinkles, slash cherries, slash almonds, slash chocolate fudge, caramel, all of that on top of my sundae for my lower lash line to be smoked out. So I have another Giuseppe brush that I wanna talk to you guys about. This is pretty similar, if not identical, to the Sigma um, Precision tapered brush p86 I think correct me if I'm wrong love this brush for that inner corner highlight let me tell you honey I love me a bright inner corners it has that pointed tip which really helps to precisely place that highlight in the inner corners and then it just blends everything out I believe I was using like an angled brush before to do my highlight mm -mm, but I ain't got nothing on this it's everything and more. Last but certainly not least is the Sigma Cream Color E58 brush which I use for a loose pigment. And this brush definitely takes care of business. I've sprayed it with my MAC Fix Plus and it really does pack on the lid. It's like little to no fallout which is bomb like I love that there's nothing more than a pain in the butt to put on the loose shadow and it's all over your cheek I've used it before with like cream shadows and it does a wonder with those but I feel like it works 10 times better for those pressed pigments for sure so those are all the makeup brushes that I wanted to talk to you guys about all the links of the brushes that I have mentioned will be linked down below I don't think I have anything else to say to you guys mm, nope so 
so of course I appreciate you guys so much for watching I love you guys so 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 much and until next time I will talk to you in my next video Mwah. bye guys I keep saying actually. Stop saying actually. Stop saying actually. I can't talk today, y'all. I'm sorry. Zam. Poor poor affection. We talking about primers or we talking about brushes, Lauren? Come on. <laughs> These lights are hot as a mother. Okay.